Kree here, bring you back to the Kimmel top lane, and today we are against Samira. Yes, that is right. So Samira, which is actually very weird to find in top lane, we are against her regardless. Bone plating, disgusting. If you want bone plating on a range champion, you're a terrible person. <laughs> that simple. You are a terrible person. Honestly, in my opinion, they should actually nerf how well bone plating is reduced on those on range champions. No range champion should be a tank just from bone plating alone, in my opinion. But hey, that's just me. Anyways, before I do set runes on killing with Samira, what I do want to say is the sponsor of today's video, of course, and the sponsor is... Oh, you are too fast with that extra movement that you're getting. The like button, of course, and you would know that if you were here for quite a bit of time. But yeah, do hit the like button. It'll mean a lot to me, you know, to help me get into the algorithm slowly but surely and hopefully become a big content creator. And you can also comment if you'd like, you know, literally comment anything that also helps putting me in the algorithm. It would mean a lot to me if you guys just simply commented. Mr. Minion, auto this. I am farming like garbage, dude. Not gonna lie. This actually is my first Camille game of the day. I got auto-filled the game before this and I was actually in Ezreal, which is a completely different playstyle. He's dead. was clean uh, the w flash away to heal then pop the double pots oh my god that was nasty good stuff mr graves that is what i like to see i am so happy he played aggressively there because i knew we win that 2v2 like in what world in what world do they think they're gonna win this samir is such a weak champion in my opinion very early on but that works out perfectly yeah i do have conqueror so i did think i was against a silas well to be fair i actually thought i was against samir the entire time but my boy was like yo bro nah Samira's, Samira's fine into Malfe, so it doesn't matter if she bans her, and I'm like, alright, bro, you got it. I guess I'll just take Conquer either way. And yeah, that's what I did. Uh, we are gonna go like this, because sadly we don't have seen on our first buy here. But yeah, Conquer's the runes. I decided to go this game just because, well, I, ex I expect these fights to actually be somewhat prolonged. This guy's Conquer too, by the way. I guess his W counts as three auto attacks, just like Renekton's. But uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I did go Conquer because I expect the fights to be prolonged. We have a Silas who's going to be spamming W. We have a Nunu who's going to be Q healing. She has Conquer. She has quite a bit of sustain herself. And then we have a, uh, I mean, Pantheon, I guess, if I'm hitting a shield, that also gives me Conqueror procs, which is always going to be nice. Anyways, we are going to drop this. Honestly, I should have W the minion before I dropped it because there's no reason for you to miss minions as you ward, by the way. But it's fine. Just like that. So keep in mind, by the way. Samira, she can block your E1, the little deranged hookshot portion right here. She can block that with her W, so do keep that in mind. It's very important that you know that. You too. She's trying to fight in the minion wave as if that's going to save her. Graves, just take the kill, brody. I don't care. <laughs> I missed that. I, the only thing I hate and dislike about Samira... Is that uh she gets a lot of movement seed. I know you guys are top dueling, but try to get bot their perma push. Well we're not duo, that's one. <laughs> what is this? Ah uh, yeah, just back off. Haha, <laughs> she did a lot more damage than I thought she would. I shouldn't die here though. This guy thinks we're top duo, it's actually funny. He just happens to be toppling because it's a Samira top. <laughs> It's not that we're doing it, it's just, well, if you play something like Samira top, then you should you should be ganked, right? Anyway, Samira's like Ezreal, but also Katarina in the sense that her Q's, literally just like Ezreal, she has it up every two seconds or something. And then Katarina, you know, walking, Katarina ultimate, all that good stuff. Tag or a W there. I am going to TP back. I would like to go for a short trade before I TP, but I think I'm just going to recall now, pick up the age, and just come back. Unless she wants to keep shoving this wave out, then I actually will have to stick around for this, because if I back in TP now, well, I'll miss quite a bit of minions. Her sustain, by the way, is actually pretty strong. On her Q, anyways. Avoid that. Nice try, beautiful. Tiger with another W for sustain. The slow is not enough to keep her under turret. Oh, I Q'd early on accident. I didn't even realize that, but that's really good. Tons of damage off. My mother is calling me. One second. Hello? Okay. Better. Um, dame, dame chicken. Uh huh. Okay. 
I thought I muted my mic, but I guess I didn't. Well, you guys heard that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, so basically right there, as you saw, she actually windwalled. She she blocked my E1, which is really bad, because I'm like, oh, wait, she actually W'd immediately. I'm like, all right. I guess it makes... But it does make sense, though, because even though it does minimal damage, she's trying to get her ultimate as fast as possible there. So it does make sense to me. Uh, your ultimate, by the way, I what I was trying to do is I was going to use it so that way I can inter immediately interrupt her ultimate. Then I realized, ah, I actually can't wait that long because I'll die. So I'm actually going to use it so I can actually block an auto attack or whatever other ability she's going to go for. That way I can auto queue instantly. A lot faster than she can auto do enough DPS with her ultimate is what I'm saying. So anyways, we finally have Sheen. We have somewhat even farm. Thank you, Graves, for making this lane a lot easier. And now I should be able to 100 zero her literally every single time. So yes, like I did say, once your ultimate does interrupt Samira R, so the mo literally at any moment she is obviously ulting, you could just press R and instantly cancel it just like that. That's why I do like playing Camille into Samira, just because you'll generally always save your ultimate and just cuck her in that sense, and it's always, always, always a good cuck. Tiger W, always pop bone plating, something you always want to do before you go for a fight, obviously, but let's just shove this out here, and then have this wave push back towards me so my ultimate's back up, I can go for a nice play on her. You are annoying. We're gonna queue this outside of turret range. And she can't freeze with three minions if she even, even if she tries to, so she should just shove it out like that, yeah. Smart girl, we're gonna walk through the river, drop this ward behind me as I look for a plant, which is here. Thank you very much, Riot. I appreciate your plants. You know, keeping the earth green, planting all that good stuff. Nice little honey fruit. She heals a lot though. Not gonna lie. On the melee queue anyway, she because she's hitting multiple targets with this, so it does make sense. Because you can life steal off her queue and all that good stuff. Pathing the wrong way. I thought I was pathing this way. Kinda sucks. It is what it is. And we're just gonna last it this wave and look for a jump on her. What are you afraid of? Come on. Play aggressive like you were you were playing a moment ago. Are you afraid my graves is topside? Oh well, don't worry. I don't think he's actually coming topside ever again anymore. But let's see. Um now, the issue is with bot lane, is that items, I'm just going to assume that Nunu is just going to be hovering there 24-7, just because Pantheon engine is obviously going to be permanently shoved under turret, all that good stuff. Does pick up the Jin kill, good stuff. Pick up Magical Footwear here. And she's just playing really passive now. She just doesn't want to go for any fights, sadly. Not much I can really do. Auto Q2. Go for that short trade under my turret. And I do win this if she tries thinking she can find me with her ultimate because remember i do have my ult and we will interrupt it immediately mm, can't go for a dive but what i can do is probably get mid lane here oh hits the charm not gonna be enough though obviously ari is such sadly a weak champion like she's cool in theory and all that good stuff but she is just a weak champion they have control wards everywhere by the way that is disgusting is there one here as well oh no no how's it going buddy not gonna happen but nice try there's Nunu walking yes <laughs> silas go away let me 1v1 i'm sorry your champion's built to actually go for 1v1 sadly ari isn't yet anyways will ping i do have my ultimate if the guy does want to come topside for free we do know that Nunu. am i supposed to have vision of that i don't think i'm supposed to but i had it regardless which is very interesting 347 movement speed and without that it's 335 okay wait she gets 347. She gets 12 movement speed per ability hit. That's kind of disgusting, not gonna lie. Really disgusting if I do say so myself. Alright. Obviously warded. Oh, look, you're just gonna shove this out and just recall once more. Actually, I might stick around just a little bit more just because I am very close to Stinger. And we are only 100 gold off, so it just makes sense. Fight's going on. Ari's in a bad spot. Looks like she actually might die here. Yes, she does. Nice little short trade. We actually could have went for a dive, by the way. Q2. I can actually go for a dive myself now with this E key coming up. Two, one. Ah, the new stop side, never mind. And maybe Silas as well, sadly. Let's just recall here. Thank God you missed. <laughs> and there's Nunu. Nice. By this, you. The thing is, even if she doesn't miss, I obviously have my E key and my flash key, so I'm just simply not worried. If he wants, he could cover top and to pick up this farm, because they are obviously shoving this out, so it'd just, be, it'd just be a free way for him. And he'll further increase his lead against the Nunu, which is actually really nice. How's bot lane doing? Farm difference? Actually not bad. Four shot, coming through. Use your active? Nope. He should be able to last up the rest of these, though. Interesting targeting, but it works out. The grave's still sitting around top side, just clearing vision. You got it, boss. If he wants to, you can look to do this. Should be free. Yeah, nice. 
auto Q2. See Panther moving towards mid lane. Ari's playing passive. That's what you love to see. Wait a bit. Auto. Nice. We do have Triforce on our back, so honestly, I could just immediately recall as well. But since I am here, I can just pick up this blading here and ignore her damage. And I swap away now. She did a lot of damage to me, by the way. I did not expect to do that much to me instantly. I honestly thought she would do a lot less, but I guess she does have quite a bit of AD, so I'm just going to back off. Well, I have 400 HP. Pop a biscuit. I do have my ultimate, so it should be okay. Come on, buddy. Just walk up. She's dead! <laughs> like I said, doesn't matter how low I am. Passive shield, all that whatnot. Pretty broken. We should look to get first turret here. Well, they're actually going to get a bot lane, sadly. Is what it is. Because the thing is, is that sometimes lanes are just too hard to gank, especially when they're already behind. And the funny thing is, they're not even that far behind. One kill, one kill. So something, I guess, Pantheon. Maybe Thresh doesn't know how to play into it. And we should get first turret here before they actually pick this up. Because he has Herald. Yep. Really good stuff here. Q2, I can recall immediately. Next wave is going to be here, but I think I'm just going to reset anyways. Actually, I should stick around and push this just because Graves is still topside. They did do Mountain Drake. So we do know where Nunu is somewhat. Q2. Wait a bit. Q that. Nice. So we have Training Force on our back. Really good. Don't walk up, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> Training Force accomplished. Don't get the team. Auto attack base, auto attack base. They're the fed ones. Tabby. They also have a Samir. And we are going to go straight into Death Stance because Death Stance, well, it's one of Camille's best second item choices aside from Ravenous Hydra, obviously. And against their team, they're fed. They're going to do a lot of damage. And we definitely are going to have to pick up Executioner soon. Maybe off my next recall. Sadly, I'd rather get my Death Stance, but they do have quite a bit of sustain. Samira Conquer, Fleet Forward, Jin, he has Bloodline, I'm pretty sure, Silas, this guy's Conquer, Danunu, so yeah. Trash, you can't touch a thing, don't play like you could. What? Bro, relax. <laughs> Wait, this man went Merc Shreds. Ugh, yikes. Actually, like, big yikes. Can we start making map movements? This guy's everywhere. I'm not sure why I'm being pinged. I'm just shoving this out. I guess they're telling me to be careful. But I think I'm fine, buddy. Yes, I am fine indeed. Alright, nice. And I'm not gonna walk this way. Yeah, that's why. There's Pantheon. Let's walk this way here. I'm sorry, were you by yourself? Bro, I could have worked you? Are you kidding me? He really just did that on his own. I really could have just gotten the best shutdown of my life. That's actually so atrocious. Pantheon's probably gonna look at ult here. That's the mirror TP. I'm on my way as well. I'm already halfway, so I'm not gonna TP. Looks like he is just gonna die though. Terrible passing on Aphelos' part. She should die for that though. Yeah. Silas right here. Nice. Do I have people with me here? Like, that should be a free gen. A free Nunu. He's melee range of me. <laughs> okay, dude. You just love being melee range of me. I'll be taking that one, Mr. Graves, because you took the rest. Good, good stuff, buddy. Really good stuff. This man really just ignored me. <laughs> this man really said, ah, it's just a Camille. I can face check her. <laughs> this dude's really funny. Really funny indeed. So that was three for two, I believe. Not bad for us at all. I mean, three for two, three for five. There you go. Three for a clean ace. Very good stuff altogether. And well, uh, not get minion block to get hit by that. Auto Q2. I believe, did Panther? Oh, I'm not entirely sure if he did or didn't. I think I do 1v1 them, though. Not that I'm going to. Wow, dude, my E really messed up. That's so tragic. Uh, nice flash. <laughs> dude, my E really messed up. That's so saddening. It shouldn't have, but it did. I guess I messed that up with, like, a degree. A degree? Like, my, my mouse is like, just a degree away from actually doing that correctly. Whatever. We call here Executioners. Very gonna be a very good buy. Does Grace have it yet? He does not. Pick this up, buy you, and no, we'll buy this afterwards. And I will ping that we do need this. Conquer, Conquer, Samir, Nunu, Silas. Should get executioners very soon. I am going topside. You should be over here, and bot lane should be mid. Are we? No, we're not full AD. We have an Ari. Just unfortunately, she's slightly behind, so she can't really do too much in terms of DPS and the Nunu. And it's not like it's gonna matter though. Just because obviously I do true damage, so I'll be able to shred Nunu. So I'll be fine. And Aphelios is a 
Tank Shredder at some point, so I think he will be okay. You guys think they're sending five people up here again? I don't think so. But if they are, it's like kind of depressing. Wow, you do damage, dude. <laughs> you sure do damage, buddy. You sure do damage, but I, I do do a little bit more. So I, I think you're gonna have to respect me, okay, dude? Just a little bit. And I don't have life steal yet, so obviously I can't life steal off the wave, but we are gonna shove this out. Then TP recall. TP recall? Recall TP to the Ocean Drake. What is this? Alright. I think I get out of here. Because Phantom did get interrupted by minions, which is really huge. Hey, Jin. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, that's not gonna work out. Dude, he scared the shit out of me. We hit that blast, but I'm like, oh shit, did he just knock me up? But no, he messed up. <laughs> we take those. And hopefully that is a free Drake, because obviously they're sending three people towards me. I do have TP. They are moving down here. We don't have our DPS on the Drake, sadly, but they're actually just gonna give it up. Nice. By you. And now we finally have life still, so we're in a good spot. Very, very, very good spot. Azari doing... Wow, that did... That was a good chunk, not gonna lie. Considering she missed her charm on top of that, that was a really good chunk. Samira is 122 CS, just she's slightly ahead of me. I gotta go topside, pick up this wave. Fight is happening down here, should be a kill. Nice, good stuff. We do see Nunu mid lane with Jin. They're backing off. I'm going top lane because the wave is calling me. And yeah, I think they're gonna constantly just try to make a play on me until they get my shutdown. So I do just have to keep being wary of the map and just paying attention to where people are. Because when Silas did fight me, I did expect that his team wasn't around. I'm like, alright, I'm pretty sure I can kill Silas before his team actually gets here. So I might as well attempt. And I did attempt, and it worked out. Perfectly. And then shove this out. Uh, I want to catch the mirror over extended now, at this point. There's no reason for me not to play more aggressive. There she is. Her team's currently MIA from mid lane, sadly. She just dropped a ward here, so I actually don't want to walk up. Not so I know where their team is. Don't forget that 9x Nunu. <laughs> I just knew it from last game too on the enemy team. So I'm kind of happy that he's on the enemy team again. Alright, there's Pantheon. But I'm not going to walk up yet because the wave's going to show me. I want to wait for her to walk up here. Don't question mark me, you do G. Whatever that means. Oh, you just wasted your dash, love. I don't think I have to Oh Yeah. <laughs> You're not, you don't, you don't have Bloodthirst, so you don't have Death Dance. I don't have to bother ulting you. Sorry, love. That's just how it is. Nice. We have Death Dance on our back here now. Let's shove this out. And not, you think you want to win because you're good, not because you're new to support doing good. One lane, one ten. They are actually one ten. I just noticed that. Wow. Interesting. But me, Graves, can easily carry this game. It looks like we are going to. Uh, so who's thing they're on their way? Ari is. And there's a Nunu here. Status is bot lane. We're walking through the jungle trying to find people. So open or true. I'm looking to be part of the fight that's over here. Nice, good stuff. Very good stuff. I guess I should have just all in Nunu. Didn't expect my team to just wipe them like that. Oh, Ari! I got you, love. Press R, interrupt that. Q2, W. You're not dead, sadly. Thank you, Ari. Auto Q2. Conquer, healing me up a storm. Auto Q, that's another kill for me, baby. Silas, relax, buddy. Go, go back, go back to your base. You're not allowed to step out. Oh, he's popping off. Okay, thresh with the flash hook. That's what I like to see. Keep shoving this out. Question is, are they gonna stop us here? Probably not. And that is actually gonna be the forfeit. So, GJ played. Like button, comment, and subscribe to see you guys in the next video. Peace! That was a good game, if I do say so myself.